question about safes, gun safes. Now, how do they make them fireproof and how fireproof are they? So we came to the place where they make safes, a lot of safes. David Scalson, you're with Liberty Safe and you guys probably make more safes than anybody else. Well, right now we're building 500 safes a day, trying to keep up with the demand and it's just uh, incredible. We build safes that go from 30 minutes of fire protection all the way up to two and a half hours. It's time. And when it comes to fire protection, the more insulation that we put inside the fire safes, the higher the fire rating. Okay. The thicker the steel, the higher the fire rating. And then we put more inside the door, which also helps. Yeah, I'm looking, they're actually putting sheetrock in there. That's what you use for a lot of your protection. Yeah, it's X-type sheetrock that uh, is certified for 1,700 degrees for one hour. And the more layers that you put in there, it gives it a higher fire rating. Okay, and how much you need kind of depends on where you are, how far you are from fire protection, from the fire department, some other factors. You got all that on your website. Right. Now, tell me what they're doing right here. What they're doing is they're putting in the fireboard on the ceiling, the sidewalls, and the door. Okay. And the more layers that we put in there, the higher the fire rating. We also include a polyosol heat seal around the door. That is one of the weak links. And so if we can put in that polyosol seal, it expands to seven times its size, stops the heat and the smoke from coming in through the door crack, the crack on the door. and sure. seals it up. Okay, and you set up a test for us. You're actually gonna burn up a safe for us, right? That's correct. We're gonna put uh, one of our Lincoln series safes, which is rated at 90 minutes. Okay. We're also gonna put in a competitor safe that's rated at 90 minutes and we're gonna see how it works. Let's do it, let's go take a look. Right. Oh man, Jamie, we got the safe yeah. set up in the big furnace here, huh? There's thermocouples that are set 18 inches down on the top shelf, and the temperature rating is up to 350 degrees. Once it reaches that, the test is over. All right, well, they're gonna close the door on us in just a minute. We're gonna cook us a couple of safes to yep. find out what happens. That's right, here we go. So the door of the big furnace came down and we started heating it up. All eyes are glued to the readout as the temperatures climb. 1041 on its way to 1200 degrees. When we pulled them out, the other safe was pretty burned up inside. The Liberty safe looked good, even though one of the shelves had fallen down. Wow, Jamie, we burned up a couple yeah, safes. Yeah, we did. <laughs> 50 minutes, uh, the other brand went to 350 degrees, yep. and so they failed at that point. Liberty Safe was still holding okay? Yeah, at about 260 degrees, so we anticipate it would go 90 minutes. Right, which is what you claim it will do. Correct. You can claim that because you test them. Correct. We've uh, tested over 350. Okay. How'd your money hold up? My money held up really good. In right. fact, uh, the $1 bill was really good. Uh, the dollar bill and the... Uh, other not, brand didn't fare so well. Not so much. And my $100 bill in the cool pocket was even uh, better. Oh, okay, that was in the cool pocket that's on the door there, Correct. right? Correct. 50 degrees cooler in a home fire. Good, I appreciate that. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, okay, you're going to want that back. <laughs> uh, I mean, the main difference is the amount of uh, fiberboard, the amount of sheetrock you have in there. Right. So you want to get as much as you can. Yeah, you can. And our safes will go anywhere from 30 minutes, clear up to two and a half hours. In this particular case, 90 minutes. Right. Well, thanks for letting us burn up a couple of safes. Hey, you're welcome.